Spiky bits. Hey guys, MBG here again with a look at the new uh, Games Workshop Tyrant FX slash Turvagon kit. This thing is obviously massive. It dwarfs the uh, camera reticule here. Looks like it comes in a Storm Rogan slash Valkyrie size box. It's got some sweet art. This thing is obviously huge. Let's check the back out here. There's different upgrades. Got the uh, Turvagon. Another shot of the Turvagon. I wonder why they did two of that. Oh well. They got that Tyranno Fex. Looks good. Let's take a look. Oh, there's the base everybody's crying about. Monster's Creature goes on a 60 mil. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, well, here's your weapons. Pretty cool. Looks like this one is three pieces. That'll be interesting. Hopefully that lines up good. <laughs> the instruction booklet is actually smaller than the uh, Hive Tyrant one. That's interesting. Alright, let's take a look at the big screw here. You got the torso. It looks like the uh, chimney stacks. Yeah, there looks like they're two pieces there. So those go together like that. Got more torso bits. Looks like this is the front torso. This is the rear with the legs attached. It appears there is only one torso. So these uh, these brood sack things, I guess, attach over that if you're running it Turvagon style. Oh, there's the other other part of the uh, the weapon there so that goes without weapon sprue hmm what's that? oh little termagant poking out somewhere here's the big sprue let's take a look got some scything talons looks like the destroyer hive bit is two pieces goes on that flat surface there I don't know what this thing is Yeah, those legs? I don't know. It's a weird two-part arm thing. I don't know what that goes to yet. Looks like all of these go together. Here's the destroyer hive upgrade. Looks like the it just attaches on that front plate to this thing right here. You got your uh, front leg, kind of like a uh, bug leg, very similar to the hero duel. Crushing Claws, another Hero Duel type leg, Destroyer Hive. Oh, that's a sweet head. Oh, yeah. Looks like that would fit in on Carnifex. Don't know if it would fit on a Trigon, though, because I think that's more upright. I'll have to check it out. Different mandibles. Armor plate bit. Some more mandible things. And that's pretty much it. Looks like it's got a few options, but not too crazy. Just some standard bits we've seen on the Carnifex kit. It appears they look pretty interchangeable. I mean, from the size of the uh, the ball joint there. I don't know if this would fit a Carnifex size. Maybe a Trigon size. Some of the bigger claws. I will definitely try that out, though. But, yeah, this looks like a good kit. And they did it all on the computer, so hopefully it goes together a lot better than that Carnifex torso. But, overall, I definitely like it. Super stoked for all this new stuff. And I can't wait to tear into it. Hey guys, I made a little bit of a mistake uh, earlier in the video there. Um, <laughs> there is no such thing as a destroyer hive for uh, Tyranids. I was thinking of uh, Typhus from Chaos. And uh, also a little, uh, little fun fact is uh, those legs, I couldn't figure out what they were. Those are the, uh, the back hind legs um, that are actually three pieces, uh, left and right. Uh, upper leg and uh, one piece lower leg that uh, kind of attaches at a little bit of a hinge. It's a pretty sweet bit. Um, definitely uh, a couple of those you could get some upright walking uh, tyrannid monstrosities going. So it's a pretty cool kit overall. Uh, sorry about those mistakes, but hey, you know, uh, first impressions and all. So uh, everybody have a good weekend and uh, enjoy the new releases.